the greatest hindrance that God will have in implementing his purpose in your life is that you are not absolutely yielded to him. So you are yielded to him a little and you also have allegiance to Ogugu in the village. That is going to obstruct the scope of his authority that is being administered over your life and the jealousy of God will be provoked in that situation because God will not have the opportunity to implement his program to the full extent. Instead, because you have not given him the full ground to operate in your life, um, he will even begin to judge you. His nature of jealousy will release him to become an object of judgment over your life because you have not given him the place for him to exercise his intention. In order for God to have legitimacy, to demand that you submit to him totally, he arranged for the procurement of your salvation by himself and paid your bride price through the blood of Jesus Christ so that he can have that level of legitimacy that he needs to implement his program in your life. So it's therefore illegal for a believer whose salvation was procured through substitution. Jesus released what he was and became what we were so that we can release who we are and become what he was. It's supposed to be an exchange program. It's supposed to be an exchange that will be accomplished through salvation because it was procured by the wisdom called substitution. So when someone gives his life to Christ and instead of him allowing God to do through him what God wants and he decides that he wants to be what he wants and he has received salvation, it is a state of illegality because salvation was gotten through substitution and he's therefore not supposed to live his life in the current state powered by his own will but his life is supposed to be powered by the will of God. This is the reason why there are believers that God will resist because the person is going against the principle for which and through which and by which God procured their salvation. According to the book of Colossians where I read to you yesterday the Bible says that we are complete in him who is the head of principality and power. We are complete in him. The reason for that statement, we are complete in him, is to make you understand that you are complete, so you don't need to add Ogugu to the equation. You are complete, so you don't need to add marine powers to the equation. The moment you do that, you have provoked God's jealousy. And God is going to administer judgment because you are praying on his rights. You are praying on his domain. You are praying on his property. If it doesn't accommodate jealousy, it's not true. Because jealousy is saying, I want to have you all by myself. It is, it is when that situation is fulfilled that I can manifest my good pleasure in the fullest extent through your life. So that's how God is. He is a jealous God.